Hey, Better Editors, welcome back. My name is Chris, and today we're gonna spin off of our last episode and learn a little bit more about the audio track mixer inside of Adobe Premiere. Specifically, we're gonna learn about submixes and how they can make you edit faster. At first glance, submixes might sound like a confusing term, but I promise they're gonna be something that saves you a ton of time. Essentially what a submix does is takes multiple audio tracks and consolidates them into a single track so that we can apply effects in one place, we can adjust audio in one place rather than having to do that across multiple different tracks of audio. Let me show you what I mean. Before we do anything, I wanna to listen to the Ladybug video that we watched last week. I've added some changes and you'll notice that the dialogue is very noisy. There's a reason for this and I'll show you in just a minute. Chad, is that you? What you doing? Uh, you know, ladybug stuff. Cool, me too. Wanna hang? Red? Sure. Wait, I'm coming in hot. All right, so the ladybugs are as cranky and ridiculous as they were the last time we saw each other. So how are we gonna fix this really noisy audio and make the bugs a little bit easier to understand? Well, to do that, I'm gonna jump into my sequence, right click over here and say, add tracks. Make sure you select add tracks and not add track. We're gonna do multiple tracks and we're gonna say zero video tracks, zero audio tracks and two submix tracks. Track type is stereo, that's fine. Now you'll see that we have two submix tracks added to our sequence. And the first thing I'm gonna do is rename them. The first one I'll call Dialogue, or DX for short, and the second one I will call Music, or MX for short. Now that we have the submix tracks, we need to assign our other audio tracks to their respective submixes. To do that, swing over here, and under Master, you'll see we now have two options. And for our Bug 1, I'm going to send it to Dialogue, and our Bug 2, I'm also going to send it to Dialogue. Then under Music, I'll do the same but headed to the music submix. At this point, the audio still sounds exactly the same. Our audio has just been passed through these submixes, but the submixes themselves are not doing anything. We're about to change that. Jumping in here, real quick. Like VHS transitions? Download these now and help the coronavirus relief efforts. 50% of all proceeds will go directly to the Tarrant Area Food Bank in Fort Worth, Texas to help with their COVID-19 response efforts. Check the links in the description. Okay, back at it. The first thing I wanna do is jump over to my dialogue submix and I'm gonna to go to a special effect that I have from Isotope called RX7 Voice Denoise. And what this is gonna do is get rid of all of that airy noise that we heard in the bugs dialogue. We can double click, look at it, and honestly, there's nothing we need to change. When you apply the effect, it goes into an adaptive mode that solves everything for you automatically. It's a wonderful effect and I've linked it in the description below in case you're interested in grabbing it for yourself. Hey, Fred! You can already hear how much better that is. Hey, you. What you doing? All right. The next thing I want to do is add a parametric EQ effect to our music tracks so that we can scoop the audio and make a little bit more room for the bugs dialogue to fit in the overall audio spectrum. That's a lot of words. Let's see what that means. So let's come up here and go to filter EQ and parametric equalizer. Double click. And now I'm going to quickly create a scooped audio setting. Do -do -do. So what did I just do? When we lowered these frequencies right here, that leaves room for our human voice that lives in these frequencies to pop. But by raising the low end and the high end just a little bit, we can keep the majority of the music's tone that we're used to listening to. Now I understand if you don't wanna create this effect every time that you wanna drag this onto a clip or onto an audio track, so I've made a preset for you. The catch is that you can't add presets to the audio track mixer. It's a bummer, but that's something that Adobe needs to fix in a new update. So if you want them to do that, make sure to check out that link below and leave your suggestion for the Adobe team. But what you can do with this preset is drag it onto an audio clip and it will do the exact same thing. If I come here, check out controls and say edit, boom, your scooped audio is ready to go. So let me take that off and let's listen to this again. Now that we have our voice denoise and parametric EQ applied to the whole sequence. Hey, Fred! Chad, hey you. What you doing? Uh, 
you know, ladybug stuff. Cool! Me too. Wanna hang? Red? Sure. Sweet! I'm coming in hot! Alright, sounds good to me. I hope you guys enjoyed that and start using those sub mixes in your own edits. If you like what you saw, please subscribe and check out the downloads below.